Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are on 12 DPO, 12 days past ovulation. And I think I'm just gonna do a first response and a clear blue, so I'm gonna do both of them and see what they look like um, and then continue to take the clear blue ones. But um, as of yesterday's test, a lot of you were saying not to trust these a lot because these are more like closer to your miss period, but I don't know. So I'm just gonna test both of them, the first response and the clear blue. I feel like right now at 12 DPO, maybe we'll see something, maybe not, just depends. And I don't see anything in here, it looks pretty blank. Um, so let's test with this one first. If it goes into the window, man, these take forever to absorb. Okay, and then the clear blue. So I just want to do both, and I don't see any, like, lines or indents or anything on these, so. You guys said to look at it prior, so I am. Um, and a lot of you were saying that the clear blue are known for giving um, false positives on on when you're testing like this early, but I don't know. I don't know what to believe as of now. Like, I really don't know. But um, yeah, looking forward to see what this cycle is going to bring us. It's almost the end, so... We're at 12 DPO. I'm gonna test two more days, so I'm gonna do 13 and 14, because usually around 14 days past ovulation is when I get my period. So I'm hoping um, if I don't, if we didn't conceive this month, I start my period either um, tomorrow or the following day, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, usually when it happens to where we don't conceive, I just want my period to come already because it's like, all right, let's just restart the cycle and get it, you know, get it going and, um, whatchamacallit, start tracking all over again. And I'm also thinking that for this new cycle, I'm not going to use the clear blue ovulation test because they are pretty pricey. I think I have maybe like one or two left, so I might use them, but I'm not gonna uh, purchase any more because they are quite expensive. Um, I did notice that I tend to tend to get a positive ovulation test on a cycle day 15 and 16, around one of those, it usually varies between one of those two days. So I know I'm tracking my cycle correctly the way that I should. And so I'm just gonna continue tracking the way that I normally do um, and see what happens from there, but I don't know. Hoping, my face is kind of clearing up a bit more. I think I have a scar from my, from my pimples, but hoping that goes away. Um, looking forward to the weekend. What are you guys up to this weekend? We have actually a lot of plans this weekend. Um, my sister's actually baptizing her son, so we have that tomorrow. My daughter has a basketball game, and then on Sunday we have mass, and then also my daughter has um, a church class because she is doing her first communion this year, so I'm looking forward to that. She does that in March, so that's going to be super exciting. I can't believe she, she's almost there. She, we've done this for two years already, the class, so so happy for her and excited that's always a, a a good time in our lives i remember when i was young and i did my first communion i remember when my godmother took me to the store and we bought the dress i felt like i was getting married because i did the whole like crown and the veil in the back it was just the cutest thing but looking forward to the weekend um but i think i should look at my test already because I need to drink water. I feel like I'm really dehydrated right now. My lips are really, really cracked and dry and they're they're starting to crack. 
so I know that's when I'm dehydrated. I haven't been keeping up on drinking water as of today, only because I've been super busy cleaning the house, making sure everything is vacuumed and picked up because tomorrow morning as well, my parents are coming over and I don't like them coming over with this house being a mess. So I wanted to make sure I cleaned up before they got here because um, my mom is the one to tell me, hey, you know, clean the house, but um, I do a good majority of cleaning pretty much every day, so we should be good. But let me look at my test. It's already been quite a few minutes, so I think I'll look at the first response one first. Yeah, this this first response just looks looks negative. I don't see anything. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty negative to me. The clear blue. I feel like it still looks a little bit pink because it's still clearing, but I don't see much on this one either. I'll show you guys right now when I flip the camera, what it looks like. But these look pretty blank. So yeah, both of, both of these tests look pretty negative to me. Don't think it happened this month, but looking forward to just pretty much continuing to test um, I know maybe I won't see anything tomorrow, but I just want that peace of mind to know that, you know, I tested up until that point to where I got my period and I'm pretty much, you know, done for the month. So I will test tomorrow and the following day just to give myself peace of mind and know that I am done with this cycle. But I just wanted to say thank you guys all so much for watching. Like I said, 12 DPO, pretty negative. Um, don't see anything on either of these, so I will keep you guys updated with tomorrow's video.